Well, guys, say it ain't so, but Joe ain't running. And I don't care. Uh, Joe Biden just announced that he will not run, but, you know, we can't turn away from the Obama legacy. So, Bernie Sanders uh, came out and announced his socialist agenda. Uh, believe that now. now. Now, openly, a candidate running for the president of the United States of America can come out and say that he's socialist, which I believe that word is newspeak for communist. Uh, they just wanted to soften it up a little bit. And uh, he announced that he wanted to uh, increase the amount of time that a, a mother could stay home and get paid on maternity leave to three months. And in order to pay for that, he said that he would raise the personal income tax of every American in the country to help pay for that. And he thinks it's worth it because a mother should stay home with their child for three months. Well, I agree with the fact that they should stay home uh, with a child. I think that's one of the problems in society. And see, these are problems that are society, societal problems. Um, we've taken God out of our country. We've taken morals and ethics out of our daily lives. How are we supposed to right the ship if all the things that made up the moral foundation or in fabric of our society are gone? They don't want to right the ship, none of them. You know, I, I almost have more respect for the Democratic candidates because at least they're coming out and saying that they're socialists and they're actually calling themselves what they are, even though, you know, I, I equate socialism to communism. But they're at least coming out and saying, hey, this is what we are, where the Republicans, you know, it's like to hide behind the fact that we want a less government, smaller government, lower taxes and all this other baloney, which it's it's baloney. There's there's a handful of decent ones in there, but that's about it. And I say decent because I think in order to be in politics, you can't be any good. Um, it's a dirty business. And when you lie down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. And they're all dogs, if you ask me. But let's talk about the source of the problem here. Uh, society is decaying at a rapid rate. And I think a large part of that is because we have so many uh, single parent households, unwed mothers having children, they're being taken care of and paid for by the state vis-a-vis uh, -vis the taxpayer, you and I. And now we want to charge the taxpayer more so the working mom has uh, could, can stay home with a kid for three months. Well, why don't we just scrap the whole damn tax code and stop illegally robbing people of a large percentage of their labor so we can go back to a time where one parent was able to stay home with their kid indefinitely, not for three months, but indefinitely. Now I was, uh, believe me, my, my upbringing was far from perfect, far from perfect. But we were in a household where my mom stayed home and you know, my parents made a lot of sacrifices so they can do that. But uh, I don't know if Americans are unwilling or unable, and it might be some of both. Um, but I think a lot of people are not working by choice. They're working because they have to. And when you think about the amount of money that goes into that, uh, you used to be able to get away with one car per household. Now you have to have two. Uh, that's two cars, two car payments, two car maintenance, insurance, registration, yada, 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 parking, gas. Um, that adds up. Then you add child care into that. Holy moly. Child care is through the roof. Then the piece that you give to Uncle Sam and the great state of wherever you live, if, if, uh, if they have income tax, it's a wonder that it even pays to go to work. In fact, I suspect there's a large portion of Americans that if they actually sat down and put pen to paper and considered all the costs associated with uh, having to go to work in a, a, a two-parent household, I would suspect a lot of them would find out that maybe it's not economically feasible, that maybe, you know, they're, they're earning just pennies on the dollar after all the expenses are involved. And if they did that, and if they were realistic with all the expenses involved, maybe they'd say, you know what, it's not worth the $2 an hour that I'm actually taking home after expenses or uh, having to go to work and leave my kid with a stranger. Now listen, I'm not beating up or judging anybody that, that has a two-parent household and they both have to work, or God forbid, a one-parent household um, where they absolutely have to work. I'm just saying that the source of the problem here is government. It is government. And, you know, I think Reagan said it best, government is the problem. 
uh, they're certainly not the solution. So it boggles my mind that so many Americans are actually going to listen to this garbage and voluntarily give up an extra couple of points on their hard-earned labor in order for uh, mom to stay home and take care of the kid for three months. Where if we would just get rid of all this socialist and communist crap, and if the government would get off of our backs and stop stealing from us, maybe, just maybe, mom could stay home and take care of little Sally and Johnny. And we wouldn't have to worry about her going back to work after three months and handing the kid off to a stranger. I don't know, folks. What do you think? Maybe I'm full of it. Maybe I hit the nail on the head. Let me know.